Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome back to my let's play of Pokemon Moon. We are about to do the island challenge. I still don't entirely know what the island challenge is, but that's what we're doing now. We are officially in the the island challenge. Uh, I have my new Pokemon infused Pokedex. And oh, is this a Poliwhirl? Gosh. <laughs> so this is this is the, basically the the Pokemon lab. Um, lots of lots of water Pokemon by the looks of things. I guess it makes sense. We are literally on the beach, so I guess having a, a lot of water Pokemon would make sense. Uh, but right then, let's go and um, uh, set off into the the world. Then uh, apparently Lily's gonna be kind of taking me around and showing me where to go. Okay, it looks like either that or she's just totally neglected me and left me by myself. But it's okay though. I can wonder at all. Do you want to battle? Are you gonna battle me? Oh, I, I got into like a, a a random battle. I got a pretty good selection of Pokemon. I got four Pokemon captured. It'd be good to go and capture some more. I don't really care about getting a Wingull. Like, I already have two birds. I don't want to literally become the person that just has only bird Pokemon. Bird Pokemon are really good though. All right, let's go and use a Thunder Shot. These are actually gonna be really good to to battle when leveling up Pichu uh, because electric uh, attacks are really effective against them. And so I can normally just take them out in one like hit. So they're gonna be uh, really, uh, really great for, for this uh, just because Pichu is gonna absolutely destroy them all. So uh, yeah, it's pretty good to, to keep Pichu up uh, Pichu out for now. Are you, do you wanna battle me? Uh, the Pokemon I've got with me are all grass type. I'm looking for some water based type Pokemon for my team so I can beat fire types too. Oh, I thought he was gonna like propose a trade or something. Ah, okay. Looks like I'm gonna need to to break down those rocks uh, in order to to keep going through that way. There's a lot of like barriers I've seen, whether it's just a Pokemon standing there or literally a barrier or all the rocks. It seems like I can't I can't really leave the town yet by the the looks of things. But I don't really need to yet, to, to be honest. I'm still kind of uh, just leveling up and kind of going around here. I just need to, to get a bit more information about what this um yeah this Pokemon Island challenge thingy is and exactly uh, what it entails. I wonder if it is the um like the trials thing. Maybe maybe I got it wrong. Maybe it's not called trials. Maybe it is called challenge uh, instead. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing next. I'm probably uh, going to switch away from uh, from Pichu just for for now. See now he is really damaged. So let, let's give someone else a, a chance to shine. Then let's go and bring Toofy out, shall we? Right, let's go and switch uh, uh, Toofy and uh, and Pichu around. And then even though like Toofy might not be able to, to actually take out any Pokemon, I can kind of let him battle for a little bit and then switch over to, to Bowie or, or someone a little bit later on. I need to learn to, to swim as well. Yeah, I need to get a swimming Pokemon. Looks like there's uh, some kind of islands off in the, the distance there. So... Uh, it'd be good to uh, to go and start exploring a lot of them. Like, I'm guessing there's going to be lots of watery areas. Seeing as the entire place is just like a bunch of different islands, I'm assuming there's going to be kind of like water absolutely everywhere. But it seems like uh, this is where I'm supposed to go. Oh yeah, this is the Pokemon Center, isn't it? That's where we're supposed to head to. Hold on a moment. Let me show you the Pokemon Center first. This is actually very good timing because I did need to, to go and heal up Pichu anyway. So, oh, look at this. There's a little shops inside of it. Oh, this is fancy. Since when do Pokemon centers get so fancy? If you ask the woman at the counter, she can restore all of your Pokemon back to perfect health. It's amazing, isn't it? I can't stand seeing Pokemon in pain. You can also deposit Pokemon in the PC there and take them out. And the Pokemart, you can buy all kinds of items that should help you during your trials. I'll take a look there if I was you. And over there is the cafe area. I like to relax there sometimes with a frosty glass of Moo Moo milk. I read something in a travel guide about the Lola once. Apparently, each Pokemon Center in Alola offers a different selection of drinks. I wonder how they pick what to serve. The cafes may also offer more than just drinks. I've heard that you can also sell special treats that sometimes, that they sell special treats that sometimes, sometimes, and the staff here have tips for troll goers. There we go. I got there eventually. <laughs> We should head to the trainer school next, but have your Pokemon taken care of first. You think they need a little aid. If you think they need a little aid. Why can't I read today? Right then, let's go and uh, heal up all of my Pokemon first. This will take a, a few seconds. It feels like to me that Lily is kind of the only person in Pokemon that has realized how mean it is actually capturing and battling Pokemon. Like, if you think about it, you're just going up to wild creatures, trapping them in tiny balls where they live most of their life, and then forcing them to battle other Pokemon. I know they talk about friendship and all that stuff a lot, but it is still a little bit messed up if you think about it. 
Any Pokemon trainer in the world can have their Pokemon healed or use the PC here for free. Jolly good. All right then, let's go and uh, let's go do some biome. I wonder if we can get any great balls yet because I am going to be going against some some better Pokemon later on. Uh, no great balls, but I have quite a lot of money, so let's just go and buy a um, let's go buy a potion. Then let's just go and buy uh, a Pokeball as well, just to, just to stock up a little bit while I'm here. But what I really care about is I care about the um, the the cafe. What do the uh, what do the different drinks do? Welcome to the Pokemon Center Cafe. The time in Alola is now twelve o'clock. Here is our cafe space. We provide a moment of peace to our customers. On the, oh, you've given your Pokemon seven Poker Beans. Poker Beans make Pokemon happy. I think I'll give you a present. You obtained a rare candy. You opened up the medicine pocket and put the rare candy inside. Try giving your Pokemon some Poker Beans when your island challenge gets rough. What can I get started for you today? Uh, let's have the Moo Moo Milk. It's been recommended to us to have some Moo Moo Milk. So let's go and have some of that then, shall we? Got it. Then just give me a moment. Just making your moo moo milk. One second, right, here you go. One more moo moo milk just for you. Just one sip and you'll be hooked. This milk is so mellow, mellow yet rich, that it will make you wish your mother were a mill tank. Long ago, months were decided by the moon and days of the sun. The sun and the moon have always been essential to our way of life. You're limited to one per day, but have a tea biscuit on me. This snack is specific, uh, specifically of Shalor City in the Kalos region. You obtained a Shalor stable. You open the medicine pocket and put it inside. We'd like to offer your Pokemon something on the house. You got some Poker Beans. Poker Beans are a speciality in Alola, and Pokemon love to eat them. Feed them to your Pokemon and, po and Pokemon refresh, and they'll become more affectionate. Please come and visit us again, you. Goodbye. Okay, right, so... Look at all the things we can do. We can battle videos and QR scanners. We've got our transport passport, festival plaza, quit link. There's so much going on in the busy world of Pokemon. I want to see what, what's my Moo Moo Milk then. Is that for me or is that for my Pokemon? That's what I want to know. Where, where is it? Where's my Moo Moo Milk? Did I just drink it? I think I might have just oh, is this my is this my cracker? Oh, this is a shortbread. It can use to heal all standard conditions of Pokemon. So can I Yeah, let's give this to a Pokemon then. Let's give that to Bowie. And then I'll save the rare candy for when they've leveled up a little bit more. Or I always do that. Let's go and give this to a Pokemon as well. I guess I shouldn't give it to Pichu, so it doesn't really matter. Let's go and give that to to, to Toofy. And then I can go and give a potion to uh, Pichu. And then that means they can basically uh, heal themselves during a, a battle. So let's go and give them then. And, uh, oh yeah, I got my Zed ring. So there's like these special Zed attacks. I think they're just basically like super powerful attacks that you can use at certain times. I don't know too much about it beyond that, but it seems like I need kind of like Zed crystals in order to, to use them properly. And I don't really have any of them yet, so I need to, to wait for that. Here we are. You see, the trainer's school is, it's a, um... A, uh, oh, what's the word? Yeah. I think you can ride them in this, I believe. Well, it looks like we won't be going this way any time soon, thanks to Tauros there. But we were only planning to go as far as the trainer's school anyway. We'll just leave that for someone else to deal with. Come follow me. Okay, so this is the, the trainer's school then. So is this the trainer's school where trainers go to learn, or do trainers do the teaching? <laughs> Very enlightened <laughs> thing, Pokedex. Hey there, Stumpy. I must have passed you two somehow, yeah? But welcome to the trainer school, the place to learn how to be a Pokemon trainer. Professor Cuckoo, is this, is this the child you told me about? Yeah. Put him through the ringer, Tate. Four trainers. You've got to beat four trainers here at the school, Stumpy. The experience will surely help you and your Pokemon grow stronger, yeah? Actually, speaking of the experience, why don't you take this? You obtain an Expo Share. You open the key items pocket and put it inside. If you keep that Expo Share- Oh, oh this is the thing that shares out all of the experience. The trainers who take part in this lesson may be inside or outside the school. You may also want to visit our classrooms, you'll be sure to learn a lot there. Alright, let the lesson begin. Ah, oh, this is so good. This basically means I can level up all the uh, the Pokemon at the same time. She may not look all that tough, but that teach trains her kids hard, right? 
One of her students even became a captain. If you want a bit of advice from me, here's something that might help. Once you've fought a species of Pokemon once, you can easily see what types of moves will work best on it in your next battle. Wandering around the tall grass to meet lots of different Pokemon will help that. Battling in them all in no time. Oh yeah. Something along those lines anyway. You understand what he was trying to say. <laughs> right then, let's uh, let's go to school. I don't think that I was going to load up a Pokemon game and then just end up having to, to go to school is the first thing I need to do. Where am I? Is this the classroom? Is this where I'm supposed to be going? Nope, wrong classroom. Sorry, just <laughs> just barging into the, the wrong place. Where's the, um, where's my classroom? Can you help me? Look at your Pokemon. Whether it has any claws or not, it would probably get a kick out of one of them. Oh, what's this? I obtained a quick- Oh, this, this allows them to attack first in battle, doesn't it? That's good to, to give them to like a, to give to like a slow Pokemon. Oh, well, thank you. Just for giving me a random thing as I walk past in the, the school. Right, where, where's my classroom? I'm late for class! Oh, there we go. Here's the, the teacher. The trainers who take part in this lesson may be inside or outside the school. You may also want to visit our classrooms. You'll be sure to learn a lot. Oh, okay. I thought she was teaching me. Okay, let's go visit some of the, the, the classrooms then. What, what, what are we doing here then? Slowpoke Sean is a move that can put your opponents to sleep in battle. When a Pokemon is asleep, it can do anything. It can't do anything until it wakes up. So it can give you a chance against a Pokemon you're having trouble with. Okay. <laughs> is, that, is, this, is this the way lessons work? I just walk in the classroom and they tell me one thing and then I leave. Is that is that the way? I wish that's the way real school worked. And like everyone's here sitting down having a lesson and I just barge in and just start talking to the teacher. Abilities are basically special skills all Pokemon have and can make special things happen. Take the ability called Limber, for example. Any Pokemon who has that ability won't ever be paralyzed by an opponent's moves. Is this what the lessons are? Just going up and talking to me. Okay, I'm gonna do one more of these. Then I think I'm I'm done for. Oh, I think I think I've pretty much done them all anyway. There was another one downstairs. Uh, can I can I go upstairs here? Is she is she not gonna let me? Okay. Uh, I think uh, I don't think I can go upstairs yet. What am I doing here? Why am why am I why am I at school? Why am I outside battling Pokemon? I think there's one last classroom for me to go in. So let's let's go in there and then hopefully we can uh, <laughs> go on and do something else. Right? What do you uh what do you have to to teach me? We occasionally ask Professor Kahui to run a special class for our school. He has done great deal of research for Pokemon moves after all. Very useful. Very, thank you for telling me that. Right, let's let's go back outside and let's try and find out what's going on. I don't think I should have ever come in here. Waste of time. I did get that quick claw though. So that that is that is the only benefit of coming to school today was that I did get a a quick claw from it at least. Right then, what's going on? Can we go somewhere else now? Are we done? You can tell me any time that you want your team's health restored, and I'll help you. Seeing a Pokemon in pain makes my own heart ache. Okay. Um. Can I just, like, leave? Like, what? <laughs> what am I supposed to be doing? Map, what am I supposed to be doing? Uh, find those four Pokemon trainers. You'll find them. About so, oh, so do I just have to find them around the school? Oh, so are you one of them? He looks like he might be one of them. Uh, you want to know why I'm standing here? It's because I'm the strongest, that's why. You won't ever bother battling me unless you can beat everyone else here. Oh, so he's the last one. He's the last one that I need to battle. Oh, I get it. So some of the trainers can be inside and outside the school. Okay, I'm supposed to be going around and I battled them all. And then I guess I battled that one last. And then I found one. I'll teach you the tactics that I've learned here at school. I'm beating you with them. <laughs> All right, then. Looks like uh, this is the, the first of the, the four battles uh, that I need to do in school against Youngster Joey. They've only got one Pokemon. Oh, they've got a Metapod. Um, does electricity do good against grass? I always get confused. Oh, I'm not even electricity. I'm, I'm bringing out Toofy. Right, what level? So they're level seven. I don't think I'm going to do very well as Toofy. So let's just go and switch uh, straight over to, to Pichu. The good thing though is because I've got this experience share, is I only need to to battle as one Pokemon, and then I'm going to be able to, to kind of level them all up at the, the same time. So it doesn't really matter who I bring out for, for now. Uh, all of the, the Pokemon are going to, to go and uh, start getting leveled up. So does it do good? It's either really good or really bad against them. Oh, I don't think it did anything special at all, actually. Okay, I think I should hopefully be able to, to beat it though. What does Charm do? I should have maybe used this first. So I use Charm. This is like a, a fairy type. Uh, oh, its attack harshly fell. 
Okay, I probably should have used that first, but oh, look at that. It hardly did any damage against me. Right, I want to attack it really quick. The problem with Metapods is they keep using Harden, and I mean, you probably know this, but it basically puts their defense up. And if they've used it a bunch, it can get to a point where it's really difficult to defeat them because their defense just gets so high. So you really want to deal loads of damage really quickly uh, when you go up against uh, a Metapod. So for now, I'm just going to kind of keep uh, attacking it until I hopefully am able to defeat it. And then I can go back to, to Lily and uh, get everyone uh, nicely healed up and we can go and try and find the other one. So yeah, I think I'm supposed to, to go back inside then and start uh, trying to find some of the other trainers inside of there. Like I didn't see any... um. Like, any obvious, like, people that looked like trainers on the, the inside. But, yeah, I'm sure I can track that now. So, there we go. You can see that Toofy leveled up. And then, I wonder if, um... I wonder if uh, Pecky can level up. There we go. Pecky uh, leveled up to, to level... Oh, level 5 as well. I'm leveling up like crazy right now. This is going to be good. Because at the moment, it's really... It's really down to, to Pichu and Bowie. Now that the others are, are leveling up really faster as well. Uh, it's going to be, yeah, very handy. And, oh, look, there's some grass here. Do you reckon there's any rare Pokemon here? I don't know, like, you always get different Pokemon in different areas. I kind of want to, I kind of want to wander around here a little bit just to, to see if I can get any, uh, uh, any other random rare Pokemon. Also, there's just a bunch of random items just lying around on the, the floor as well, which, uh, <laughs> has got to be, uh, pretty handy at the, the same time. All right, anyone, anyone new to, to add to my roster? Oh, look, there's a Megamite! A uh, Magnemite, sorry. I don't really need a Magnemite. Just because I got um, Pichu already, and I probably don't need a, another electric Pokemon because I've already got one, but if I if I get the opportunity to catch it, uh, then I will. So either I'm going to defeat it and I'm going to level up, or I'm going to be able to catch it. And whoa, not very effective. Who should I switch to then? Um, I don't want to be a bird Pokemon because they're... Maybe, maybe I could switch to another electricity. I don't know how it works with electricity attacking electricity. I think it's either super effective or really, like, not effective. So let's try this out because bird Pokemon are weak against electric. So I don't really want to, to switch to either of my bird Pokemon. Let's see what Pichu... Oh, Pichu's getting really damaged right now. I can go and heal up from Lily. And oh no, it's not very effective. Right, I think I'm going to have to. I think I'm going to have to go and just switch over to, to Bowie. And I guess if I just use Tackle... I'll be able to, to do okay damage against it, but if it starts using Thundershock against me, then it might start doing some decent damage. It used Supersonic, and this move's quite annoying, because it uh, confuses you, but at least it's not like a um a, a good electric move. So I don't think Peck's going to do much against it. So let's just go and use Tackle. Like, I am a slightly higher level than it, so I think with uh, with Brute Force, I might be able to defeat it, but it's actually it's actually surprisingly tough. <laughs> it's, a pretty, just, it's not because it's really strong. It's just my selection of Pokemon aren't very good at defeating it, basically. Like, like all of my my moves aren't very effective against it. So it's just making it not very easy. Well, I'll tell you what, I could maybe, I could maybe use Leafage. What does Leafage do against it? How does Leaf do against Electric? To be honest, I have no, no memory. Like, once I have battled it once, when I battle it again, then I'll be able to know. And yeah, it's not very effective either. I think Bowie's going to get taken out here. It did a critical hit as well. Uh, let's uh, let's not worry about switching out then. Let's just do as much damage as I can. And then we can go and just switch it around to, to one of the, the other Pokemon. Like, I really want to defeat it because I want to get the, the, the levels for defeating it. And seeing as Lily's kind of just right around the, the corner, like, I can just go and heal everyone straight up after this battle anyway. So... And yeah, this was a, a surprisingly difficult battle. It's kind of made me a little bit worried about uh, some of the, the other trainer battles that I need to do in the, the school as well. Like, if I'm struggling so much just defeating this wild Pokemon, maybe I should uh, I should start thinking of, uh, of doing a little bit of, uh, of leveling up, maybe. Right then, I don't, I, I don't think Peck's going to be effective. I think Peck's going to be, like, really ineffective as well. Basically, all of my Pokemon are really ineffective. <laughs> I guess if you get look at that! It did, like, nothing against it. I might have to run! Like, I might have to, to run from a wild Pokemon battle. <laughs> and oh no, this Thundershock's going to destroy me. What, what I might try and do then is, the thing is, can I, will I even be able to successfully run away from it? Maybe Pichu might be able to, but I'm not even entirely sure. Why aren't, like, any of my Pokemon using, um, uh, like, any of their, their potions and stuff? That's what I want to know. Right, let's see. Let's see how much damage I can do as to- Oh no! I'm not gonna fail! I'm not gonna fail from a wild Pokemon battle, am I? Look at Peach Peach who's got, like, no help. Right, I'm gonna have to try and run. I'm gonna have to switch, I'm gonna have to try and run, and just hope I get lucky, and I am able to escape, because otherwise I'm gonna have no chance of defeating this thing. Right, run away! Run away! Oh no, I didn't get away! I'm gonna lose! <laughs> I'm gonna lose! I can't believe it! I lost to just a wild Pokemon! Well, I'll be honest, 
That was a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> that was a little bit embarrassing. Right. All of my Pokemon are going to get fully healed up now. And we can go back to the school. Like, I love the way I beat the trainer. But just the wild Pokemon was stronger. But what that does show is that I do have a gap in my Pokemon roster. I don't have anything which is in any way effective against electric Pokemon. Like, I'm actually really bad against electric Pokemon. So what I should do is maybe try and get a... um. Maybe a rock Pokemon would be quite a, a good one to, to get uh, to, to try and do that. But I did defeat one of the Pokemon trainers, and that is the, the, the most important thing. So, all right then, uh, that is going to be the, the end of this episode here. And the next episode, I'm going to go and try and defeat all four of the, the other ones. It looks like we might have found another one here. Well, let's do another one now. Let's do, let's do one more. Is this one here? Let's see if I can, if I can make amends for my embar embarrassing battle there. And hopefully, she doesn't have any electric Pokemon. Because if she does, this might go bad. Oh, she's only got one. And it's a, um, a Picky Peck. Oh, it's one of them. Oh, it's a Picky Peck. That's, uh, <laughs> that's what I got as well. All right, then. I should do better uh, with this because, um, uh, Pichu should be able to do a whole load of damage against it. So let's just go and switch straight over to, to Pichu. And, uh, hopefully... I can just defeat it in one attack, and I can uh, I can redeem myself from my rather poor showing, which I, I just had. <laughs> there we go, and I only used Growl as well, so it didn't even uh, do any damage against me. It did make my attack fall, uh, but hopefully, because I'm so effective, uh, the, the, the Thundershock uh, should, fingers crossed, uh, be uh, enough uh, to, to be able to defeat it. And then, yeah, that's going to be half of them done. Only uh, two more to go in all. Oh, okay, I didn't take it out in one hit, but uh, yeah, I should be uh, fine to take it. There we go. I think I've... I think I've redeemed myself from my rather embarrassing showing there. And uh, what it has shown me is that I definitely need to go and uh, try and, uh, and capture uh, a few more Pokemon. So that is going to be the, the end of this episode here. Uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed it. I'll be uploading my next episode on uh, Pokemon Moon uh, very soon. And uh, there's going to be a link uh, down to that in the description below. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!